So welcome to phase two of On the Road with David Storto for the spring edition. And we are still at Spalding, Cambridge, focusing on a lot of research activity. And we're in the Inspire Lab with Dr. Randy Trumbauer, one of our most recent recruits um, into the Spalding Research Enterprise. Good morning. Good morning, David. It's a pleasure to be here with you and having an opportunity to chat with you about the Inspire Lab. And one of the things that's really important to our laboratory is understanding what does the spinal cord do mm -hmm. to help people move. Yeah. Mark is here demonstrating how this motor is set up. He has to produce certain effort, as shown on the display, change position when it's engaged. And by changing position, we're actually stretching the muscle and producing a reflex. And we can also use this device as a way to train people that have had spinal cord injuries where signals are corrupt. And we can look at how the nervous system is adapting under different types of loading wow. conditions. Some of the things that they're working on here has really improved uh, my coordination and some of the neuro um, patterns that I'm working on. It makes it really fun too. Yeah. I'm really engaged here. It takes yeah. a lot of uh, focus. The lab has neuroscientists, engineers, physical therapists, physicians, all with the same mission to help inspire people to move again. So Randy, where are we now and what is all of this? So one of the interventions that we've been studying for the last 10 years is the use of intermittent bouts of low oxygen as a stressor on the nervous system. And what we found is that by exposing individuals to mild bouts of low oxygen, it actually causes a whole cascade of cellular changes within the spinal cord, wow. important for walking. You're here at Spalding Cambridge in the Inspire Lab. What are you going to be doing today? Well, I'm working on uh, helping with figuring out about reconnecting my mental images to my physical movement. Ah. So I just want to help move the research forward. I have benefited from so much research, and if I can help keep it going, then that's great. So this looks like a lot of fun. Tell us what's going on here. Yeah, David, so what we are working on here is the use of augmented reality, mixed reality. We have a model of the leg mm -hmm. that we can show our patients to understand the different muscles, for instance, that are being activated during walking, learn to move again. Ah, okay. Mixed reality provides a coupling of what you see in the real world with holograms that are superimposed on the real world. Ah. So can you tailor this for a particular patient's condition? Is it that nuanced? Yes, and so one of the technologies that we're coupling with the HoloLens are wearable sensors that go into shoes. Using that information, we can project it back to the HoloLens and command an avatar to then give them feedback about how they're walking and promote changes in the asymmetric walking wow. that they're, they're exposed to. So how is it that you got involved in this whole area of research? I understand there's a strong personal connection. Yeah, David, I am committed to helping those that have had a catastrophic injury to their spinal cord, partly because I've been a caregiver for my dad and my mother-in-law, who both had spinal cord injuries. Yeah. For 15 years, he had to deal with the, the rigor of day-to-day -day routines and so compromise function related to his high cervical spinal cord injury. So that drives your passion. That drives the passion. Research. That yeah. drives the passion. Well, thank you so much. Um, you know, we couldn't do this without you. So well, good to meet a, you. Thank you. It's a partnership. So I hope that you enjoyed learning about all the great research that's going on in Spalding, Cambridge, both in the first phase and also in what you just saw now in the second phase of On the Road with David Sordo. So stay tuned for our next On the Road coming this summer.